Hi, I'm going to show you how to make these silk ribbon embroidered gerbera flowers. So I've got some 7mm pure silk embroidery ribbon from craftyattic.com and I'm just um, preparing it by running it through um, a set of hair straighteners. And I've just drawn a circle um, to form the inner circle of my flower. And I'm just going to work around that circle now doing ribbon stitches. So I need to make sure that these stitches are all the same length as they radiate out from the centre circle that I'm working around. So to perform a ribbon stitch you need to bring the ribbon through the fabric, straighten the ribbon out slightly with your needle and pass the ribbon back down through the centre of itself, pulling gently and allowing the ends of the ribbon to curl into a point to form your petal shape. So I'm going to do these ribbon stitches all the way around the centre circle, um, making sure they radiate out from the edge of the circle that I'm working around in 90 degrees. So I'm just going to complete the entire flower in this fashion for the first row of petals. So for the second row of petals here, I'm just bringing the same 7mm thread up through in between um, two of the base petals, passing the ribbon back down from whence it came. And I'm using a template that's the, exactly the same length as the petals in the base row, um, pulling the ribbon tight and then using the hair straighteners just to flatten the ribbon. I'll then remove that template and just complete the operation by squashing the ribbon completely flat with the hair straighteners. These are just a, a little pair of mini straighteners I've got. So I'm pulling on the ribbon very slightly to make the petal curl in a downward direction, um, pulling from underneath to make that happen. I'm just using then a normal sewing thread and I'm just going to run a couple of stitches through the base of that petal just to anchor it and make sure it stays where I want it to be. Um, and then when I bring the next thread up I won't accidentally pull that, um, that ribbon too hard and uh, interfere with that petal. So I'm just going to complete this operation again with um, the next one and I'm going to work round in a circle putting one of these um, ribbon petals in between the petals on my, my base row. So they're all exactly the same. So passing the ribbon up and down in the same place. Um, use a pair of pliers to pull the, the ribbon through the fabric if you wish. And then just using a template to make sure that it's exactly the right length. So there we go, put the template in. Pull tight and just use the mini straighteners to um, finish that petal off. So you must make sure that you use pure silk embroidery ribbon when you're doing this. Nothing else will fold small enough for you to be able to pass it through the fabric, so it needs to be 100% silk. So again, I'm just doing the anchoring stitches there with the, the normal thread. So there, I've done that uh, second row of petals now. You can see the first row underneath. So now I've switched to a 2mm silk embroidery ribbon. I've got a nice long needle and I'm just going to do some really long, kind of really long French knots, bullion stitch. I'm winding 10 times around the needle, passing the needle back down through from whence it came and uh, pulling, not too tight because I want these to form kind of long bullions that, that radiate out from the centre of the flower. So once again, winding 10 times around the needle, pushing down through the fabric again and pulling to form these, these lovely little stitches that will radiate out from the centre of the flower. So I'm just going to continue working around. I always do all of my silk ribbon embroidery in white and then colour it afterwards to get a nice uh, realistic effect on your flowers. So 
So I'm just going to complete this circle now, working all the way around. Now I have three different colours of uh, Pro Marker. These are permanent marker pens. I'm just using the lighter colour on the centre of the petals um, and making sure that the back and the, the front of the petals are covered. And switch to a slightly darker colour for the centre of that petal and then a very dark uh, fuchsia pink for the end. Just allow the silk to blend the um, inks into each other. If you want to use um, silk dyes, you can. You, you can mix the colours yourself and just you paint them onto your finished flowers like what you would a watercolour. Um, and the, the finish will be permanent. I'm just using the pens because they're permanent and quick. I've got them to hand. So I'm just going to carry on colouring all of these petals in exactly the same way. I'm just going to colour the central knots now. I'm using the um, mid colour and I'm just going to then touch uh, the tips of these uh, knots with the, the dark pink and allow them just to blend together to give me a nice realistic effect. And to finish this flower off uh, in the centre I'm just going to use some little bronze uh, coloured seed beads and a beading needle and just some brown thread and just fill the centre of that flower then with the, the bronze seed beads. So all of the ribbons that I've used in this demonstration are available from craftyattic.com. We've got many different size bundles. Um, of all of the sizes of ribbon that you're going to need to do a project such as this. Silk so ribbon embroidery is a lot of fun. It, it doesn't take very long and it looks fabulous when it's finished. So there's our finished little flower. I've got lots of projects um, and different flowers that you can do with silk ribbons on my website and also on my YouTube channel. So um, subscribe and you can have a look at all that's new. Thank you for watching.